The following video will teach you how to use the 3M nasogastric securement device. Before we begin, we'd like to introduce and standardize discussion on the shape of the device. Throughout this video, you'll hear us reference the design being similar to that of an elephant with its ears, trunk, and tail. This is how it was affectionately referred during its original design and development. We'd also like to call out our two intentionally designed non-adhesive sections. One in the middle to allow the device to hang freely to reduce the risk of pressure injury and to separate the two different pressure sensitive adhesives used. The other non-adhesive section is at the tip of the trunk to ease removal. To begin, select the correct size device for your patient. Per the instructions for use, the large device, 1501NG, is designed to fit NG tubes 10 to 18 French, while the small device, 1500NG, fits NG tubes 8 to 12 French. Generally, the large device is suitable for adults. Prior to device placement, thoroughly clean the skin and tubing with alcohol wipes to ensure they are free of any residue, skin oil, adhesive removers, or lubricants from insertion. The nose is an oily area, so it is important to thoroughly scrub the nose to clean it as opposed to a single swipe. Ensure skin and tubing are completely dry prior to device application to ensure good adhesion to both skin and tubing. As a reminder, ensure you stabilize the tube before applying the securement device and until it is completely attached to the tubing. First, remove the upper liner from the device, exposing the adhesive on the elephant's ears. Notice the non-adhesive section in the middle of the device, previously referenced to allow the tube to hang freely. You will place the elephant's ears on the side of the nose where the tube is inserted, centered over the nair and tube. From a height perspective, the top of the non-adhesive section should be at the base of the nair. The presence of the bottom liner can help guide placement. Do not place the device on the center of the nose. Off-center placement and the non-adhesive section allow the tube to hang freely. Apply firm pressure to the device on the nose to enhance adhesion to skin as if you were massaging it to activate the pressure-sensitive adhesive. Remove the bottom liner. Align the tube with the vertical part of the device and firmly press the device onto the tube. It is important to first wrap the short tail on the right to the tubing. Failure to do so may result in adhesive to adhesive connection with the trunk, making it difficult to remove the device. Now wrap the trunk in a spiral fashion, like a candy cane, down the tube. The trunk of the device should overlap itself partially and also stick to the tubing with each wrap 50-50. Press firmly on the device to ensure strong adhesion. Remember, the non-adhesive section at the tip of the trunk is intentional to make it easier to find the tip when time to remove. Apply pressure a final time to ensure adhesion to the nose and to the tubing. Ensure the tube is hanging freely and do not tape over the non-adhesive section in the middle of the device. Replace the device as clinically indicated or per facility protocol. Stabilize the tube, find the non-adhesive tab at the tip of the trunk, and unwrap the device from the tube. While continuing to stabilize the tube, remove the top section of the device from the nose, peeling low and slow, supporting the skin. Avoid use of adhesive removers for any adhesive residue left on the skin or tubing, as it may prevent a new device from properly adhering. Conversely, an alcohol wipe may be used to remove any residue. Once the device is removed, apply a new device following the application steps as outlined earlier in this video. As with initial application, it is critical to thoroughly clean the nose and tubing with alcohol wipes prior to application of a new device. If you used an adhesive remover for any residue from the previous device, pay particular attention to a thorough cleaning. Lastly, make sure skin and tubing are completely dry before applying a new device. If discontinuing nasogastric therapy, you do not need to unwrap the device from the tubing. 
Instead, simply remove the securement device from the nose, peeling low and slow, while supporting the skin, and remove the tube from the patient. Learn more about the benefits of using the 3M nasogastric securement device, as well as patient benefits such as reducing the risk of pressure injuries and Marcy at 3M.com slash nasogastric securement.